All right, all right, all right. We got another update. 2020.24.6.1. Here I am. I'm going to do the Villa Maria challenge again on these crazy, curvy intersections. And so let's get this thing going. All right, we're coming up to the first intersection. It's a red light, so it's going to come to a stop. Now there's a car in front of us. So with this new update, I don't have to give it the go with the stock or the pedal. It's just gonna go on its own. There we go. And it's got a little green line right there. And it just, just did it on its own now. Now here it is, it's going through this turn. Did that all right. We got another red light coming up here. Oh, gotta give the wheel a little tug to let it know I'm still here. And once again, I'm not gonna have to do anything because I'm behind another car and it's just gonna go automatically with a little green uh, light or a green line where the uh, stop stop uh, line normally is. And it's just gonna go now. I don't have to give it the go. I don't have to tell it it's okay. It just knows. It just says it's okay. And that's only because there's a car in front of me. So it's probably gonna do the same thing here. Yep, see that green line right there? It says it's good to go. So now it's giving the good to go all on its own. <laughs> All right, so far so good. Two, the first two intersections with the curves, not a problem. Uh, here we go, we got a red light coming up. And uh, so the car is gonna go ahead and stop at this one. I hope it stops. <laughs> All right, very good. Much better, much smoother stopping. Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and fast forward to the green. All right, we got a green. Is it gonna go? And it's not gonna go. Interesting, it did not go. And it fails, I have to take over. Oh man, what is up with that intersection? It does not like that intersection. All right, here we go again. We got it back on cruise control with the autopilot and we're curving to the left and now we got a curve to the right in the middle of the intersection light turn green it's got a green line saying it's good to go we're following this other car let's see what happens making the curve all right not a problem there went through that real smooth actually the wheel wasn't jerking around or anything it was doing very well Okay, we're coming up to this next intersection. It's not really ever had a problem with this curvy intersection, but here we are, we're curving right through it. Not a problem. All right. Okay, so let's turn this thing around and go back the other direction through these intersections and see how, it, how well it does. All right, here we are going back through the opposite direction through these intersections. Get our speed down to 35. There's the speed limit sign, 35. And here we go, coming up through the first one. See how well it usually likes to uh, try and change lanes. And it tried to change lanes again. Ah, uh, man, I don't know if it's ever gonna figure that out. Let's get the autopilot back on and see if it tries to drive me into this wall over here. And here we go, we're coming up. It seems to be doing okay, it's slowing down and it complained oh and it just shut off but it went through it didn't run me into the wall or try to but it's still i mean there was a slight improvement there but uh it still <laughs> did not do it <laughs> oh it looked like it weaved into the uh, left lane a little bit and then uh and then it weaved back into the proper lane and man that was, that was, yeah, still not good, but seems like a little improvement. And that's what I've noticed. These updates, they're like small, small improvements each time. But sometimes it's hard to even tell that there's an improvement because they're so small. But that, that was different. Normally it would just take me right into that wall. That time it did pretty good and there was no other cars uh, I might have been. It might have been following. I'd have to look back at the video and see. 
if it was following another car in front of me but i don't think i don't think i was close enough so all right here we go let's get the autopilot back on and see if it can go through this intersection it always tries to change lanes in the middle of the intersection but we now have painted lines so maybe it nope and it failed again <laughs> and we even got new painted lines and everything and it still fails oh man that intersection it does not like it either direction it doesn't like it all right let's get that autopilot back on and uh oh it slowed down because of that car pulling across in front of me that was in interesting now it's slowing down again oh yeah that's because i got to give it to go there wasn't a car in front of me to auto go so uh, i had to give it to go that's fine yeah that automatic go is only when there's a car in front of you so that's understandable baby steps that's what they're doing they're taking baby steps all right here we go i'm gonna have to give it the go on this one because there's not a car in front of me and uh, oh the light turned yellow and it's coming to a stop very good all right I guess I could have overrode that and just punched it like <laughs> most people do, but I decided to let it do what it was designed to do. Anyways, I'll go ahead and fast forward to the green. There we go. We got a green. I'm going to give it the go. And off we go. Going through this intersection. No problem. Yeah, it's never really had an issue with that intersection. And I don't know if y'all have noticed, but I've always been in the right lane. I have not done the left lane yet uh well actually i have off camera and it doesn't do very well in the left lanes oh i just ran over something oh well autopilot just ran over something in the road it still doesn't avoid stuff so someday maybe it will but anyways well there you go the villa maria challenge on autopilot 2020.24.6.1 if you like my videos, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It's free. Doesn't cost anything. Also, if you want to support me in making these videos, you can go to my Patreon site and provide a small donation to my stupid little channel. Any one of these will help to grow my channel. So give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Talk to you later.